So we add just our need. That's why we need to see. As Mlago National Referral Hospital continues to scale up on the range of super specialized services, this week the hospital started on advanced interventional radiology. Interventional radiology is a medical subspecialty of radiology, utilizes minimally invasive image guided procedures to diagnose and treat diseases like cancer, trauma, among others. Dr. Rosemary Bianima, the acting executive director, says with technological advancements continuing to drive the growth of interventional radiology, the future looks bright for the exciting and highly impactful medical specialty. The experts say procedures have less risk, less pain and, and short recovery. Within 30 minutes, the patient can walk home. The hospital having undergone remodeling and re-equipping, we thought we should now be in position to upscale and do more complex interventional procedures. And we are happy that we have partners we are working with in order that we scale up this. And the hospital is ready to even um, advance in the technologies we use. Now, for now, we are using ultrasound, we are using fluoroscopy, we are using CM, we are using CT. But in the near future, we shall have a fully-fledged interventional suit where uh, such procedures will be worked on. And we thank the government of Uganda that continues to finance this hospital. In Radiologists reveal that Uganda will be the sixth country in Africa to carry out the advanced interventional radiology. Other countries include South Africa, Kenya, Morocco, Egypt, and Tanzania. Once the procedure kicks off, it will reduce on abroad referrals. In the long run, it's actually cheaper uh, for our patients. This is because we are able to do the procedure immediately in one sitting. The patient doesn't have to go back and, and wait for theatre. We don't plan for theatre. There's no anesthesia. If the patient is not able to, to be worked on in, in the country, they will fly out. They will pay money for the air tickets, they will pay money for accommodation where they are going, and then they will pay for the service that they are going to get. But then when we have the service here in the country, we are able to do these procedures very, very cheaply compared to what the patient would have spent if they were going away. One of the, uh, so this week alone, we've been able to see at least 23 patients every day in the clinic. And out of those that we see, we sort out the procedures we, we do. We've done multiple procedures. We've done uh, patients who needed biopsies. We've done drainages, abscess drainages. We've done nephrostomies. We've done percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainages. So we are able to do a number of procedures. With advanced medical imaging technology and specialized equipment, interventional radiologists can provide patients with safe and effective treatments that minimize the risk associated with traditional open surgery. But he's going to walk out of here after he has recovered fully. He has already told you he's fair. So we put them in the recovery for a few, like one hour. We observe his pain mainly. And then if this catheter, you can see it's still, it's still bringing what? Pass, eh? Yeah, some kind of blood thing shouldn't be more than this. So if blood is more than the pass, that's not a good sign. So before he walks home, there should be more pass than the what? The blood stain. He's going to walk away. Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.